joining today first of all i am a student of bppmt and i passed out from bppmt in 2018 currently i am a student of i am lucknow pgp batch 36 and uh, i joined i am lucknow in august 2000 20 and before that i have two years of work experience from ui as a consultant that's pretty much about me um so today what i wanted to understand or uh, what i wanted to discuss was regarding the kind of profiles you guys are having and how maybe uh, through certain channels i can help you with it so going by what sir has told me uh, all of you are uh, bpp i am the students only i would like to understand who all are from which years like uh, today the people who has joined how many are from first year and like the kind of uh, things you are looking forward to in your near future just to build up your cvs and your profiles so that you know going forward you wouldn't have any issues with your profiles uh, during placements or even after that the kind of higher studies you are planning and based on that i have certain things to offer which we can discuss uh, it's like your preference completely any day you for, go for gait you go for cat you go for your masters what matters anywhere is your profile how you have built it what is there uh, what about gre or gmat So it depends on what you are looking for. GRE and GMAT are two very different profiles, right? Same for GATE or CAT. CAT you give if you want to go for an MBA, that is a Masters in Business Administration, and GATE you are doing if you whatever you are studying, computer science or electrical, electronics. If you want to go in depth in those and you want to study those subjects itself, and you are finding that very interesting, then definitely go for CAT. It's a any day better choice for you than CAT for sure. so it depends on what you want to study and accordingly you should plan your profile but today we are not discussing whether you should go for gate or cat or gre or gmat that is basically what or how or what things would interest you in the next 4 years right most of us land into engineering without thinking what do you want next and it just happens with us but the next 4 years you can actually use those 4 years to plan out what you want going ahead in your life at least i did that like and throughout my 4 years i had planned each and every year along with the academics you need to plan how you are going to build your profile so that after the 4 years when you are going outside college you are actually representing your college and you should have that profile that people actually take you wherever you go the very next thing outside college will be having as placements in your 4th year and other than that the entrances in your 3rd and 4th year right in terms of entrances we have many entrances which you guys are referring here it's there's gre there's gmat There's CAT, so GMAT and CAT are for uh, management and business administration. With CAT, you mostly get into IIMs and the many other colleges in India. With GMAT, other than ISB, most of the colleges that you get into are from outside India, right? So these are the two choices you have based on how you are liking or what kind of life you are looking for. You choose between CAT and GMAT if you want to go for an MBA. Come going next is uh, for uh, you know if you are choosing between GATE GRE, it completely depends on your preferences and what kind of courses you are looking for. If within India you are looking for M Tech, you will be going for GATE, right? Convert time is very hard for GATE. That is true, Sumit. Uh, I am also a general engineer female. the mail part was not there for me but yeah it's very difficult but it's not impossible that is for sure like like i remember in my second year when i was planning whether to give gate gate or cat in my second year i actually prepared for both gate and cat and i was confused whether i should go for gate or cat so um, back then even i was like you know uh, having the profile i had like uh, for bpp and if uh, you know if i am should actually consider taking it but that's a myth you need to build your profile if you have the best profile even in iims you will be getting the best calls and even after joining iims you will be converting the best companies so don't think that way that strong academics is the only requirement if you get the highest percentile no there's no college in this world that wouldn't call you and even if not an iim if you are uh, you know really into abc or any kind of those colleges do see your academics that's not a myth that's a truth and there are many other colleges like fms there is excel ai which takes purely on the basis of entrance exams right and all these co- colleges are very competitive and if you are the best students in those colleges no one can stop you from becoming successful over there um uh, coming to the point like uh, yeah gre and gate if you are into core subjects and you really like your subjects and you want to go for further studies with those subjects you should definitely try out these uh, gre and uh, uh, gre and uh, gate so moving forward we are not discussing what you should do uh, in terms of uh, your masters education right that is something you would be choosing it's not after your bachelor's no education is um, 
kind of forced education i would say like graduation till graduation you have to do it it's like that right we go with the flow and we do a graduation but after that it's kind of a choice if you really like a subject if you really want to go into something then you go and do a post graduation other than that one thing that would matter to each one of you each and every one of you you, are, you guys are just in your first year but we are profiles like whatever till date until class 12 you have done that is fine but now on when you are going for your placements in your fourth year or even for your masters placement or wherever you will be going one thing that represents you is your cv it's a very harsh truth that your cv represents you at the end of the day to any company that you are going to that is going to recruit you right so so for, to build that cv what all things you can do is what you should focus on i remember i i was lucky to find many professors including uh, sir who actually told me the importance of you know participating participating in different competitions national level competitions different kinds of extra curriculars that actually builds your profile like marks is important but after a point if you have that cv that represents a very all rounded uh, growth in you then your marks can also be subsided okay so what we are trying to discuss today is how you can improve your cv right now i am in am lucknow and i am a coordinator of uh, i am lucknow's manfest virtus fest which is our annual uh, all india level fest and i have uh, recently um, i have launched around 20 events from am lucknow and i was talking to sir about the participation from our college because i know how much you know being uh, when i was in ppp and i remember i did an am lucknow internship and it was a huge thing for me because the kind of exposure i got the kind of uh, contacts or networking i got that was commendable and it actually help me to grow as a person or the kind of exposure i wanted i got that so i wanted a similar kind of exposure for all of you and that is why today i decided to join this link and tell you guys about the events we are organizing so uh, the very first event that i would like to tell you about is i am with now model united nations so i would like to ask you like a very uh, introductory question does any of you any one of you have any uh, mun participation history or have any idea what mun's are mun is model united nations is a competition where we actually model or try to replicate the discussions in united nations committees right so i would like to share my screen i would show you the mun we are having this year so uh, this is the page of iim lucknow's model united nations and this year we have we are hosting it online for the first time before this every year we had it on our campus and people used to come to our campus uh, to actually participate in this uh, mun so what happens in an mun is there are different committees and different agendas so just let me know if you have any doubts just raise your hand and i'll i'll clear those doubts out like what is exactly an mun i'm trying to explain that to you if you guys have any doubts just let me know about it so this year we have two committees and two agendas the two committees we have is who that is world health organization and the second one is lok sabha so uh, what we are trying to do in this modern united nations uh, is you know we replicate how these discussions happen in actual united nations houses or lok sabha houses like there would be a, a president and a vice president who will be actually chairing this mun and each of the participants will be representing one one country or one one state in case of lok sabha when you are a representative of a country or a state you have to think how in a particular topic the representative of this of a particular country or state would think and accordingly respond in the mun the competition would be judged based on how you can how, uh, based on your knowledge and the kind of uh, you know uh, inputs you can share for a particular uh, topic uh, stating that you are from a particular country or a particular state like uh, this year we have two topics the first one is uh, mitigation of covid 19 pandemic that is uh, for world health organization so if you think of a united nations committee world health organization it has 192 countries as its members right so there can be up to 192 people participating in this particular committee who would be uh, you know joining a particular link where we'll be having the actual competition so uh, the prizes here uh, we have is worth rupees 60000 overall including the two committees and other than that the registration fee is this year is 750 
and you get goodies of rupees 500 if you are among the first uh, 150 participants so when you are joining that particular link suppose you have chosen world health organization as your uh, as your committee and your agenda is mitigation of covid 19 pandemic you will be joining the event and there would be executives uh, executive board people the vice president and president who will be chairing this model united nations they would be giving you step by step you know uh, instructions what exactly to do like there are different steps in the beginning Uh, they will ask you to ask uh, ask each of the general speakers like you will be representing one one country so they will be calling out one one country and you have to give a basic introduction of what exactly uh, this topic has an effect on your particular country or in case of lok sabha your particular state is this clear guys like what exactly you are representing in a model united nation if you are joining as world health organization you would be designated different countries if you are joining as lok sabha you will be given different states uh, and um, you have to represent your state or your country is there any doubt over there yeah i have a doubt regarding the agenda actually uh, okay. it's it says the uh, the first one the one yeah. uh, under the under the who uh, yeah. i didn't understand that mitigation of the uh, means basically i have to provide solution uh, on exactly. behalf of the country i have to provide solution or will i just give my opinion that this is not working this no, is not working no provide solution is well. so any any agenda happening in your country and later on if you move with the anyone it's a two day event like from 10 to 6 yeah. p it's a two day event later mm-hmm. on as you like i think you guys are quite uh, you know you guys know the concept of hackathon more than anyone for yeah. sure the hackathon yeah. happens for 34 hours but here 10 to 6 pm two days it will be happening okay so it goes mm-hmm. like like the entire discussion goes to a point where you need to find finally find resolutions to uh, the topics we are discussing on right like in the beginning uh, the very first day the vice president and president would firstly you know ask you for an introduction or a kind of general speakers list like each of the country they speak up their kind of views in 60 seconds yeah. in the beginning. okay that's the first round then uh, the chair or uh, vice chair can ask you any kind of questions and you have to keep in mind that you are representing a country and you can't answer in terms of uh, you know information of any other country like you have to always keep in mind that you are representing a country and accordingly uh, respond to questions that are being asked to you once uh, this general speakers list is done they start with moderate moderated caucus that is uh, they give you specific topics like within mitigation of covid 19 pandemic also there are very uh, like there are many topics right which you can focus on as a country so maybe the uh, vice president or the president would be giving you small small topics where you have to discuss and you have to share your views and after this also they can again ask you questions and as this goes on you have to form allies with different countries like different countries will be forming allies like suppose you are representing india someone else is representing china someone else is representing us what you have to try to find is who all are actually um, you know uh, your views and which country the views are matching and maybe based on that you have to form allies during it so we will be forming breakout rooms and everything to help you to do this so that you can form your allies and accordingly move with the uh, competition once you know this moderated caucus is done then an unmoderated caucus is also done where two three parties come together like suppose uh, like i told you right that there will be allies of uh, different countries out of and, um, i'm sorry to interrupt but out of curiosity mm-hmm. i get it that how we did it offline like yeah. how are we going to do it online yeah so in online we'll be having different uh, uh, different you know uh, breakout rooms uh, we have a separate platform that we are using only for our fest uh, mostly it would be launched very soon uh, the work is going on in there so you wouldn't have issues in communicating right like even in the offline version what you do is you go into rooms and discuss so we we'll put you into yeah. different breakout rooms where you can go and discuss with different com- committees put out your points listen to the points and have a healthy discussion so that is what we have planned for you once we are done with the moderated caucus we go to the unmoderated caucus where there is two three parties uh, you know the allies that you form you write a resolution paper where you actually find solutions to the problems that you have been discussing and finally you know in the end 
the president and the vice president decides who all were the best delegates and accordingly the prizes are distributed if you go to any uh, youtube channel and search you know how muns work you will get a basic understanding of how muns work you are understanding what an mun is like similarly for lok sabha also like world health organization uh, for lok sabha you will be representing different states and you will be uh, you know allocated different states where you will be uh, representing the states and accordingly the entire committee will go, be going towards a resolution paper that you will be submitting at the end where you will be writing your resolutions and if you have any doubts regarding the format of mun's you can go to youtube and see certain videos where uh, you will be able to find out the exact format of mun's and it's mainly it mainly depends on the uh, president and vice president how they are going to conduct it so don't worry too much about the format or anything just prepare or know about different co your countries will be allocated from before so you will get it and you just need to read and know the you know how a particular country or a particular state is thinking about the particular topic you need to read and come and uh, then the stage will be all yours and you can show what you have and then you will be judged on the same way for the event uh, yeah the registrations is already open you can register as a delegate since i don't i uh, knowing most of you I, most of your background i think executive board is basically uh, the registration for judges people who have a lot of experience in influence they are our executive board so you go to, i'll send, uh, send you this link i will copy paste this link right now in fact um yeah so if we are uh, this is the registration link if you can go here you will find uh, the register is a delegate part if you go here you will find the google form where the payment details and everything are mentioned you just have to go through it and fill it and once your registration is done i will be adding you to groups where you will be getting the chance to interact with i am lucknow folks as well as people or participants from all over india who will be participating in this event Like how much we got to pay? Seven fifty rupees every year. This is fifteen okay. hundred. Since this yeah. is happening online, uh, the prize money oh, has not been right. okay. <laughs> has not reduced, but uh, the registration fees we have cut it to half because every year people do come to I am Lucknow campus and you know their accommodation and their food and everything is also taken care yeah. of. That's why uh, mostly the registration fee is higher than this. This is seven fifty, and if you are within the top one fifty registrations, you'll get uh, goodies worth rupees five hundred rupees back. So later on, like after the after the fest, you'll be getting five hundred worth rupees uh, goodies. So effectively, you are spending only two fifty rupees. So that's not a lot, guys. Go ahead with the registration. Um, do feel free to let me know if you have any kinds of doubts or any kinds of issues with payment or any kind of form details or maybe the agendas and committees as well if you are thinking you know you wouldn't uh, you know what kind of participation or what is the benefit you would be getting in i am lucknow certificate which is a huge uh, you know uh, i remember my internship from i am lucknow that was a huge addition to my cv i remember participating in uh, hackathons which were and still are a huge additions to my cv building your cv uh, you would definitely get a participation certificate from i am lucknow and if you win obviously uh, the first uh, the first three winners will get uh, cash prizes uh, the over each board has minimum 60 participants maximum can go up to 200 192 for who since 192 countries are part of uh, world health organization that's the maximum we are going to get okay great i think uh, we'll cut short and, uh, i think kavisha is in that time yeah i'll, I'll just i'll just take one yeah. uh, five minutes more yeah, sir uh, so this but yeah, please carry on but other than this we have 20 more events which includes cultural events if you have if you guys have interest in any kind of cultural events like singing dancing uh, theater movies we have all those kinds of events as well as i am lucknow's fest and i can share the details with you and if you are interested please do participate there it's a good opportunity for you to earn an i am lucknow certificate which would be a booster for your cv yeah simran you're saying something yeah uh, i was asking that when we register we'll, uh, we we will get uh, which country we are representing uh, we will get it i think uh, a week before uh, 26 exactly. or 27 exactly. right yeah yeah exactly and we'll i'm i'm a little confused about the uh, agenda of the like under the lok sabha committee the agenda mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. abolishing the middleman mm -hmm. does it mean i'm totally like cutting them off or does it mean i'm regulating
yeah uh, simran i was answering your question so you can take it yeah. both ways uh, like if you are if you want to talk about the fact that you know you shouldn't you want to regulate it rather than abolition so go for that stance the topic says like it's a vast topic right the one yeah. you want to choose and you want to talk talk about the fact that we need to regulate it rather mm-hmm. than abolition then you can talk mm-hmm. about it and go forward with it there's okay, no it's not thing hard or fast it's worth rupees to uh, 500 if you are Particip- uh, if you are registering within the first uh, 150 registrations, so go ahead and register soon. Even if you, you know, if you are scared that you know you wouldn't be able to speak, or or maybe uh, you are not that a great speaker, you haven't participated in any MUNs. I would say do participate and see how it works out. It would be a good exposure for you, and uh, the, your participation would be worth it. That's all I can say. You can just uh, let me know and. Uh, If you have any doubts let me know I'll clear it out. Thank you guys.